All right. Uh, it's been a while since my last um, replay analysis, and in between, I actually managed to put on some games, maybe 20, 30 games of practice myself. So my, I'm a bit more aware of the meta game, and the meta game did change in between. Uh, first of all, the beta players uh, finally uh, agreed upon that uh, aggressive builds that uh, Mist and Dot Dash and Father Ted used uh, in uh, Qualifier 2 and Qualifier 3. Both of them actually, in all three of them placed very well, and Ted and Mr. Wonder expected qualifiers. Uh, but yeah, uh, beta players finally playing extremely aggressive, uh, and I think pretty dominant. I think most of the maps uh, are bad for good players. Uh, I think the only map that is balanced uh, is Edge of Winter, maybe. I think uh, Coastlands is still good favored. Not entirely sure if it's good favored against beta, but. Uh, yeah, Edge of Winter maybe is the best map right now. And Barca, Barca's Bayou, or however Bayou is actually pronounced, uh, definitely is human favorite. Um, it used to be when you when you were two players across, uh, you were forcing the human player to go uh, you know, refine the factory. But now that the spawns are random, a uh, human player can pretty much go uh, early refinery. And on most maps early refinery is a build because it's extremely hard to punish. Oftentimes, a uh, human player could defend uh, one Mother Rush with two refineries. As long as they sold one, uh, they were sort of like behind after that. Uh, in not so good position, but uh, uh, now that uh, the spawns are random and uh, most of the time you would be fine, uh, you can defend any Mother Rush with two refineries. Uh, it's definitely worth the risk. Even even if you get across, uh, you're still sort of behind, but you still have a chance. And uh, in all other locations, in all other positions, when the good player isn't able to punish you at all, you're ahead. And uh, I think that's why uh, right now the passage shouldn't be here to the safety of this mountain, but it should be towards the middle. You go towards the middle, you scout your opponent, and you still can have one Mother Rush, you still can do some damage. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't think that's only my opinion, even though I haven't really discussed it with anyone. I watched some replays of Bike Rush, and Bike Rush is also doing the same thing. He's going middle and then rushing. But Matisse is going up top, and they were talking about. It. They are talking about the balance of this map as well. Yeah, um, that's why I point. They're talking about maps in general, and that's true. Um, a lot of maps, you know, the maps are messy in the sense that on a lot of maps, it's extremely easy for the human players to secure three or more refineries, which uh, almost guarantees them victory, or it's extremely hard to secure the second refinery, and in that case, uh, good players usually are the ones who guarantee victory. So the balance is indeed, the map balance is very messy right now. I think the, uh, even the beta balance, which I think is the trickiest one, can be fixed by uh, correctly correctly positioning heels and brushes so you can defend uh, early rushes even with stra Stratus. But Stratus might be still in need of a nerf. <laughs> Here bike is going for four refineries. Uh, so that is a problem. That is a pl problem with not going middle. You have to go middle or uh, you have to go middle or you can can't punish this. Um, even even if like for example situation like that you went to mothers and you want to punish this so you spawn two proteins two proteins can do damage to that they probably cannot kill it but they can do some damage they can deny like for example this one because uh, yeah this one is protected uh, this location is protected by turrets that's for sure turrets will go up and this will protect them but uh, locations like this one or outside of the map uh, they cannot be protected by uh, at this point, this, this this will be pretty hard to drag a conduit line here and build a turret at the same time. 
so if, if Matisse wanted to punish it, he can't. He can't punish it from the middle, because the middle distance is fairly short. So uh, he could spawn proteins and come to the base quickly. But w when you locate it so far away from the human base, uh, there is no chance of punishing greed at any point of the game. You cannot do one mother rush, you cannot do two mother rush, and even four mother harassment, which is, uh, I think, still the go to build against human players uh, some aggression on four mothers. It will not be as effective when you are so far away from opponent's base. And uh, if you want to, like for example, split here into two mothers and then relocate towards middle, uh, it's not so good because the distance here is way too long. Uh, so you're gonna miss a spigot collection, one spigot collection you're gonna miss with both of your mothers. So I think uh, Barker's Bayou is a definite go middle at first. This is, this is game over. <laughs> there is nothing like this can do here. Oh, five refineries, Jesus. <laughs> five refineries against three months, against four months. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna watch this replay because. Um, I mean, it's obvious that Bikes is going to win, but I want to still, you know, um, look into what uh, strategy that Matisse chooses to do right now. Maybe it's something different that I, I'm used to. Maybe it's a bit more, uh, you offer a bit more mothers, uh, a bit more macro, but I don't see how it's going to work. But yeah, I'm just interested in what his uh, follow-up to being so far behind is going to be. He's going for six matters. He's still behind by one. Resource. Oh no, he's ahead by one. It doesn't really matter. And you have to be far ahead in your uh, resource gathering because uh, your resource collecting uh, units are the same as your production units. Well, not really. I guess it's, it's too. Uh, too simple to put it like that. But yeah, he's a good player, you have to be ahead. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that says something. Or some of the start differences and then bring you differences like that. I don't know what because because I'm looking at this too. To determine the stage. But um, I mean, obviously the mistake is not to to rush. You have to rush, but uh, it seems pretty pretty silly when you when you have to all in early game. 
when it's your own, your only option is to go all in early game because one man rushes in the lane, uh, you, you generally have to do a lot of damage to, to succeed there. Well, Matisse is doing a pretty good job of uh, making manners, but it's sort of because Bike is letting him, he's going for, uh, for Alpha. It's a bit of a troll play. Maybe it's not a troll play because he's been so passive. Maybe it's just you know, he decided that it's the safest way. Maybe he understood it in some part. Things that you have to do, especially with the beta. Um, maybe. I'm uh, gonna have to test it myself a little bit. Uh, because there is an obvious uh, problem with uh, speed. Crescents are pretty slow. And usually, uh, beta and humans uh, attack from multiple directions. So, um, sometimes your uh, large protein units get uh, to be exposed without no mid shield to defend them. So that can be a problem, but yeah, I uh, would require more testing on my own part. Uh, so that's it, and um, yeah, I feel like I'm a little bit rusty custom, not sure what to say. Uh, what the hopes are will be improved eventually. And I cast another replay now, because there's always two replays. And um, yeah, m maybe something slightly longer, because uh, I'm definitely interested in uh, how those players who kept practicing like Matisse uh, actually respond to the new human new beta man. So um, see you with it. 